Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. This is take two of this because two minutes in, apparently I ran out of room on the HD, on the SD card because I never took all the videos off from the cocktail conference. So yeah, anyway, hi kids. <laughs> so um, let's get moving along here. Um, we are, and I, I didn't taste any of the wine yet. I poured it and hadn't cut, cut hadn't, uh, Hadn't even gotten into the smell on it yet, the, the, the nose. All right, so, um, so Javier Soto from the Thomas Collective uh, sent me the next wine. This is the 2014 Campo Viejo Rioja Tempranillo. And um, I, I didn't get any pricing information, but I looked it up at Total Wine. I, I just like using them because it's real easy to find stuff on their site. And they're local, well, not local, but there are stores here. So... If I want to buy wine, I'll, I'll usually go there, or at least look it up there. Um, for $9.99, nine times. Okay, anyway, um, so he sent me a little thing um, in the email about uh, Tempranillo. Um, Tempranillo's birthplace is uh, the Rioja region of Spain and dates back to about 1100 BC, so it's, it's been, been around for a minute. Uh, it is derived from the word temprano, uh, temprano uh, which means... Uh, early in Spanish, um, though I, I I think there might be some debate about that, but the probably that's probably it. Um, I don't think it's as, as I don't think it's as ambiguous as maybe some other grape names out there. Uh, since uh, Tempranillo wines tend to have a unique spice, since they tend to have unique spice notes attached to them, they pair best with meat uh, that is chicken, leg of lamb, and or pork loin. Um, then uh, in tasting notes, they say it ranges from strawberries, black currants, and cherries to prunes, chocolate, and tobacco, um, and has been well received in the great state of Texas, um, and has grown to be considered the state's signature grape, which is true. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, and Spain's famous anyway, that's it. Well, it just says Spain's famous Rioja region is renowned for its vibrant and expressive wines made from the grapes such as Campo Viejo, Tempranillo, uh, the leading brand in the region. Okay, so um, I like Riojas. I like Tempranillo itself. Um, let's go into the company itself. So in 1959, um, the origins of Pernod Ricard Bodegas date back to more than half a century ago with the incorporation of Sociedad Anonima Vincola del Norte. Uh, as in Savin, which produced uh, table wine. And then Savin merged with um, the Union Vincola, what? Gipuzkoana. You guys can go to the website and read all this. Um, a wine bottling and marketing company to create S.A. Vincola del Norte Savin. Uh, and I'm not going to read the rest of it. Um, then 64 was the creation of this brand. Um, and then I'm going to skip, yeah, I'm just going to skip the rest. Um, anyway, so basically since 64, this, this brand's been around. So it's not like, you know, something just, just like popped up out of nowhere. Okay. Um, it is hundred percent Tempranillo and, uh, they ferment in stainless steel vats, um, uh, for, uh, maceration with the skins for approximately 12 days. The wine spends four months in American oak cast before rounding off its aging in the bottle. So um, very traditional or I guess what's considered traditional uh, aging for a Rioja with American oak. I won't go over the um, tasting notes. No, I'm not supposed to yawn yet. Anyway, let's get into this wine. I'm, 
I've never had this. I've never had this brand. I don't know why. It's it's definitely widely available out there. Um, it's not expensive, so um, I'm excited to try it. And they have a whole range of stuff. They have a Garnacha. They have uh, oh, they had some other ones. Um, they have like a, a Reserva, a Grand Reserva. Then they had another one that was like more of a blend. Um, I forgot what the other one was. There's Garnacha, Tempranillo, and something else. I forgot what it was. Anyway. So it's got like that smoke bomb. It's not as pronounced now that I kind of, you know, swirled it around, but yeah. Um, kind of sulfury. Now, I wouldn't be so surprised by that except for the fact that I poured this wine into the glass about 25 minutes ago because it took about 20 minutes or so for the all the videos to get off of the SD card. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but you can... He's got that smoke bomb aroma to it. A bit of spice. I would say a touch of vanilla bean. Like the bean, not just like, you know, vanilla extract. Some red hot in it. So I'm not really getting the fruit necessarily on the nose. And the smoke bomb's going away finally. I do get, I guess, yeah, kind of a cigar box. Aroma to it. It's still there, that smoke bomb. Let's check it out. It's pretty tannic. I get the fruit a little bit more now. Real more dominant with red fruits. Um, that raspberry, strawberry type of thing. Um, a little bit of cigar box, a little bit of, 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 um, of uh, 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 um, brambliness to it. Um, also kind of a hint of mint to it. Um, alcohol in this. I mean, it's not going to be low. Typically it's not. Come on, it's probably in the front where it's supposed to be. Well, somewhere. I don't see it. Anyway, um, it seems to have, you know, oh, wow. It's only 13%. I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of being sensitive to it. Maybe it's not as high as I think it is. Um, but yeah, that that uh, kind of bramble uh, brush, like you're out in the country type of thing. When I get this type of flavor profile, I, I think of the state of Texas. <clears throat> and I think it's just kind of ironic how, well, ironic, I think it's interesting that um, Tempranillo has really taken very well in most of Texas. Um, there are some people that will argue that Tempranillo is... Not the best, great for Texas, but most people, I would say, uh, would agree that Tempranillo does well here. Um, and but it just kind of reminds me of just being kind of out in the countryside of Texas, um, you know, just just the the brush, the the bushes, and all that. So I get I get a lot of that on it. Uh, again, the fruit is really not. I mean, it's there, but it's not as prominent. Um, uh, I don't really get the classic dill and coconut and. And, and all that from, from the American oak, but there was a little bit of vanilla there, um, but you can get that from French too. So it's nice, I like it. I wish I had poured a little more for myself. Um, not that I can't right now, but um, I mean, it's $10. Uh, it drinks really well. It's got some great earthiness to it. 
Um, you can tell it's definitely an old world wine. Um, and I mean, it's 10 bucks. I think it's got, I think it's got a great flavor profile. Um, it's not overly complex. It's not super complex. Um, it's about medium complexity, um, medium finish on it. Um, I, I kind of wish it had a little more fruit to it. I just, I just kind of feel the, the non-fruit characteristics are, are kind of overwhelming. I kind of think the smoke bomb, I, I kept getting it. It was, it was kept coming in and out. I kind of wish maybe it was a little bit less prominent. I, I it might be the style, it might be just this bottle. Um, I don't know, but I would have I liked. I would have liked that to have taken more of a back seat to it. But um, it's not a bad bottle of wine. I mean, it's, it, uh, it doesn't suck. Um, but for ten bucks, I mean, it's good. I like I said with the previous one. You know, it was definitely a pricier wine. But if I had bought this, I wouldn't be disappointed necessarily. I'd be kind of like. I kind of wish that but one element wasn't in, as, as prominent. But then again, over time, it might blow off. You know, it may, it may, it may need to get aerated better. It may need to, may need to decant it. Or maybe get one of those little Venturis and just aerate the heck out of it. Um, so, um, but it's not a bad bottle of wine. It's like not faulted or anything. But um, yeah, if you see it in the store, uh, want to check it out. I'm, I'll be interested to drink this later, um, at a later date. Um, I was excited about trying that. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe this will be the one I drink tomorrow night. Um, when I'm off doing, I don't know, whatever. Taxes are done. Yes. Um, I did those right before I started the show. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, if you're looking for, you know, a decent little Rioja that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, eh, check it out. Um, as always, Click the links above to friend me up. Hit the donate button over there. Send me some ducats to buy some wine. Um, I have been getting a lot of donated wine lately. It's been awesome. I appreciate everybody who does that. Um, and then uh, they'll have a link to uh, the website. I think this was the one that... Was this the one that I had? No. One of the websites... Oh, that's the last review I'm going to be doing tonight. That website would give me fits. Um, anyway, click the link below to uh, head over to the website. And uh, we'll see everyone again next time.